Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tableau Tip Tuesday, a series where every Tuesday we put out another video highlighting some of Tableau's capabilities to make it easier to understand and implement. We got a fun lesson for you guys today. It's going to reduce the amount of time that we have to model our data inside of Tableau. You know, things like editing data roles or adding a dollar sign to profit or sales or maybe making a um, discount, have an aggregation of average by default or, you know, little things like that. Um, another thing you may notice is maybe like region. We could change that into a geographic role. It can be very time consuming in order to set that every single time that you connect to your data source. Now remember, Tableau has no write back capabilities, so if we want to get our data ready for visualization, we're going to have to do it every time we connect to that data source, which again can be rather time consuming. Now here's where I like to add a little caveat um, in that. The most performant way to do these edits to your data would be to edit it on the source table. Now the reason for that is because then it just comes in with the data port rather than porting data and then having Tableau execute all these commands in order to change those data roles, those default aggregations, those default number formats, comments, color co coordination, so on and so forth. Now, not all of us have access to our source table. So obviously we want the capability to change some of these things within Tableau. And what we're gonna get into today is how we can make it a set and forget option. So we want to make all these changes once and then we want to save all those changes so that we can reapply them every time we connect to that data source. So a couple of things we're going to do here. You can see that we have a customer number and an order number. We know as analysts we're never going to be aggregating those numbers. It is only there to hold customer numbers and order numbers unique. So we'll go ahead and just drag those up to my dimensions list like so. Another thing I want to do is I want to change my region to be a geographic field so I can select my indicator, go to geographic field, and we can call it a country region. And then we're going to go ahead and take profit and we're going to change our default property to be a currency format. And we'll do the same thing with sales here. We're not going to do all the changes. I just want to give you guys a sense for the type of things that come through with this kind of template here. Let's do a couple more. We're going to take discount and we're going to change its default aggregation to be an average. Again, summing ratios doesn't work very well. And then finally, we're just going to go to default property and we'll change the uh, um, number formatting to be a percentage. So that is the way that it looks. So if we take discount out, we can see that it's going to come as a default percentage and average as its aggregation. And if we put sales up again, we know we have our dollar sign right there. Um, so we're looking good right here. Now, the problem is, is that if I reconnect to this connection up here in my top left, I'm going to have to redo all of those changes. So a nice little trick here is if I right click my data source up on the top of my uh, data pane right here, we have this option called add to saved data sources. Now, again, I want to be very explicit here. This is not a localized copy of your data. The only thing this is doing is it's going to reapply those edits that we made previous in this video. So if we select add to save data sources, it's going to by default go into what I call Tableau's brain. So this PC, my documents, my Tableau repository, this right here is Tableau's brain, and we're gonna put it in the data sources section of the brain. And we'll call this Quentin Quarantino. All right, we'll go ahead and save. And now I do want to take the time to navigate back to that just so I can prove to you guys here that it is not a localized copy of our data. That file is only 21 kilobytes right there. So we can be very sure that it is not saving row level data. Whenever I connect to this again, if I have server credentials, I will need to re-input those before it's going to uh, assign those changes. There is a way to make localized copies of your data, but this is not it. All right. So if we take a look here, now we can go back, we can add a new data source right here, and you can see that we have Quentin Quarantino right here in our saved data sources, and all of our changes that we made um, are, should be reflected here. So we can see in this data source, we have our customer number and order number. If we go to a new sheet, we can see that our sales is still going to come out with a dollar sign, and our discount is still going to come out with a percentage and an average aggregation, so on and so forth. Thus, every time we connect to this to make a new workbook, we know longer have to go through the time consuming process of changing our regions, of adding our sales dollar signs, so on and so forth. 
All right, hopefully you guys found that useful. That's all we have for you this week. Join us next week for another tip.